I've reviewed my share of two-in-one business convertibles, whether it be the X1 Yoga Gen 7 that came in earlier this year, or what I'm about to show you today. It's from Dell, it's from their Latitude line. It's the Latitude 9430 two-in-one, a business-focused convertible that simply is outstanding. We're gonna get into how good the battery life is, and spoiler, it's really good. Good performance out of that 12th gen Intel processor. It's a U series processor, which I think is a smart move, especially when you want to get good battery life. Really gorgeous QHD Plus display. You can use it in the different modes. Of course, this being a convertible. Has a really good optional pen that I think you might want to take a look at. And it has really good overall aesthetics. It's got a really nice graphite color. Let's see if this is the business two-in-one convertible here for 2022. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Dell Latitude 9430 2-in-1, all new for 2022. Coming up. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I want to let everyone know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Dell is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this unit is on loan from Dell, and once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. Pricing for the Latitude 9432-in-1 starts at $2169. For those interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for more information, and we can buy one. Now, keep something in mind. This pricing is really geared towards businesses, commercial enterprises. Those are the people that are going to buy these in bulk and get a discount. But keep your eye on the link in the description below because Dell does run a lot of sales every now and then. So if you want to get the latest pricing, check out the link in the description below. But again, pricing is geared towards businesses and commercial users and with the specs and pricing out of the way let's find out what you get inside the box let's open it up nice eco-friendly packaging once again we saw that with the xps line and they're putting it in the their business line here there's nothing else in here and of course uh, again eco-friendly we like that let's uh, take a look at the pen now they also sent over a 90 watt a power charger which is separate from this and I guess it it will charge even faster obviously with a 90 watt I have that here as well we'll talk about that in a moment so this is the pen and uh, feels good and I guess it charges via USB-C here's the uh, cable and then you get some extra pen tips in there pen tip remover tool but uh, Dell Okay, and let's put that to the side for now, and then let's get to the laptop. Welcome to Dell. Let's do great things together. We saw that last time. This is the unit. Feels good. And again, very nice packaging once again. Very similar to what we saw with the XPS. We got some warranty information, safety and regulatory information, and of course, the set startup guide or the setup guide or whatever you want to call it. And of course, a very compact 60 watt adapter now they did send the 90 we'll look at that in a moment and of course you get the USB-C cable of course that's going to be included and you get an extension cord as well so pretty standard stuff and let's uh let's open this one up and this is a little bit bigger but it's more in line I think with the XPS so this is the 90 watt power adapter and it is also USB-C. I think we've seen it before. Very similar to what we saw. A little bit less wattage than the XPS 15 power adapter. And let's get to the star of the show. And that would be this. Oh, I like it. It's a graphite color. Very reminiscent of the XPS 13 Plus that I have in graphite. It's like probably the same, actually. Feels premium. Very, very premium. Very high end. Of course, you're paying a price here for it. But... Uh, you can see some venting on the back 
Uh, very, very nice improvements here. Okay, let's check out the port selection. We're going to start off on the left side where you get your Kensington lock port, HDMI 2.0 port, and then you get two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full function, supporting data, charge, and display out. Next to that is a micro SD card reader and a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack to round out the ports on the left side. Moving over to the right side is a heating vent and a USB-A port to round out the ports on this laptop. I would say, all in all, a really good port selection. One little nitpick, I'd like to see those USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports on opposite sides of each other instead of being on the same side of the laptop. To get inside this laptop, well, Dell made it super easy, putting eight captive Phillips head screws so you don't have to worry about losing them, loosen them, and then all you need to do is pop off or pry off the bottom plate with a guitar pick or a pry tool, and you're in. It's that easy. Now, once the bottom plate is off, you'll notice that it has a single fan for cooling. We'll get into the thermals and surface temperatures as well as the fan noise in a little bit. And you'll also notice that 59.6 watt hour battery. That is, of course, going to give you some great battery life. We'll talk about it later on in this review. There's also a space, if you notice, for an optional mobile broadband, although they don't give you the antenna leads, unfortunately, so you won't be able to put it in yourself. But it appears that this is an option you may want to go with, especially for the business executive on the road. Now, next to that is the SSD. And although this does support PCIe Gen 4 SSD speeds, as you can see from these reads and writes, these are Gen 3 speeds, not the faster Gen 4 speeds we'd like to see. But don't get me wrong, these are certainly fast enough for anything you throw at this laptop. Just would like to see Gen 4 here on this laptop. But the good news is it's slotted in and replaceable by the user. So if you want to upgrade to Gen 4 SSDs, this certainly supports that. Now, unfortunately, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard, so you as the user won't be able to upgrade it later on. So when you're checking out, make sure you get enough RAM for your needs. You can configure this with up to 32 gigabytes of LP DDR5 RAM, and it's running in dual channel mode. It's the faster RAM we like to see here in 2022. And it has Wi-Fi 6E along with Bluetooth 5.2. Now, this combo card is also soldered into the motherboard, not upgradable by the user. And as far as the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth both working well, I've had no issues since I've had this laptop. Good job on that front. Now, which display you get will depend on whether or not you go with the regular clamshell 9430 or the two-in-one as we have here. If you go with the clamshell, that's a 14-inch Full HD Plus display. It's non-touch, 1920 by 1200 IPS. That I don't have, of course. We have the two-in-one. That's what we have here today. 14 inches QHD Plus, 2560 by 1600. It's a multi-touch display, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Now, Dell claims that this will get as bright as 500 nits. I actually measured above that 512 nits, which is even better. It's got a really good black levels, good white points, good contrast, and it has a low Delta E score of 1.05, making this a color accurate display. And it has good coverage of the color gamut. 100% sRGB, 80% Adobe RGB, 82% of the DCI-P3 wide color gamut, and 75% NTSC. So that means if you're a content creator, this is a decent choice if you want to do Lightroom, Photoshop, video editing, and even color grading. And they did a good job with the reflections with an anti-reflective coating on it that reduces a lot of the glare, a lot of the reflections. So really not bad. It's not a matte display, but it's not very glossy either, which is a good balance between the two. Now, watching Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, or consuming media in general has been excellent on this panel. No complaints on that front. Now, a couple of things to note about the display. There's no higher refresh rate option. It's 60 hertz, and there's no higher resolution option like 4K. But I think the Quad HD Plus that we get with this is certainly more than adequate. And in fact, it'll do really better on battery life than if they had a 4K display or even an OLED display for that matter. So I think it's a good choice here. Made a lot of sense. And this being a two-in-one convertible means you can put it into the different modes. You've got the tent mode, which is great for recipes in the kitchen, consuming media, watching Netflix, Amazon, and YouTube. The same could be said of the stand mode, which is shown here. That's great also for presentations and so forth. And then, of course, you can use it in the tablet mode. Great for use with the pen. And speaking of the pen, it's the Dell Premier Rechargeable Active Pen, the PN75 
22W retails for $89.99. Again, like I said, separate purchase, but Dell sent it over for me to check out. And it does stick magnetically to the side with a strong magnet on it, and that's going to allow it to stay on. It's pretty secure there, and it charges via USB C. Now, it's been great so far for taking notes, sketching out artwork, really good for drawing diagrams for those that need that, and it's really done a good job overall. I think if you are a digital artist or someone who takes a lot of notes, really consider this pen. It's really good. So this is the front-facing camera on the brand new Dell Latitude 9430 2-in-1 here for 2022. And what you're looking at is a really nice webcam. It's a 1080p webcam, IR, meaning you can log in with face recognition. But as far as the video quality, it's excellent. What do you think about the audio quality of the Ray mics? Let me know in the comments section below. Power button doubles as a fingerprint scanner. That allows you to log in with Windows Hello for faster login, of course. And of course, this is an IR camera that allows you to log in with face recognition. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Okay, section. let's talk performance. And what we're seeing here year over year is a nice increase in terms of that performance. This is running the Intel Core i7-1265U. That's a 10 core processor. That's eight efficiency cores and two performance cores. And as you can see, improved single core and multi-core performance. When you look at the Geekbench, when you look at the Cinebench R23, big, big improvements year over year. And when you compare it to some of the competition, it did really well, especially for single core performance. That's a good indicator for everyday use on this things such as microsoft office email web browsing have worked really well and the multi-core performance is good as well as you can see here scoring higher than the x1 yoga gen 7 higher than the others in this category so very impressive in performance indeed and of course you could also game on this although it's not a gaming laptop if you lower some of the settings on some of the more popular titles but of course this has integrated iris xe graphics with 96x executional units it's not going to blow you away in terms of 3d rendering or graphics performance or 4k video editing and of course with gaming but you do have a two thunderbolt four ports on this so if you want to add an external gpu you can do that that's an option you can go with when I ran the Prime 95 stress test to see if this will thermal throttle under heavy load, it would reach a core temperature of around 99 degrees or 100 degrees Celsius. Then it would do a minimal throttling. It really didn't see much power throttling, going down to about 91, 92 degrees Celsius, maintaining good clock speeds. And one of the reasons we're seeing such good performance on this laptop is because there's little thermal throttling. But it will ramp up, and you will notice the fans when it comes to the fan noise. Not too bad, never going above 41, 42 decibels. And when it comes to the surface temperatures, never getting overly hot. There's a hot spot here, as you see here, and on the underside, but for the most part, stayed relatively cool. Again, those fans will kick in to help maintain a cooler temperature. Okay, let's talk about the keyboard. One of my favorite parts of this laptop, really good tactility, good key travel, really nice to type on, especially for extended periods of typing. Great for long emails, great for long documents, very comfortable. You never feel like your fingers are gonna bottom out. Now, it does have a multi-stage backlight on it that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And I love the fact that the keys are dark and it lights up white so you can see the contrast between the two. Easy to see the differentiation, that's pretty good. And it has a really nicely sized glass precision touchpad that was very responsive when it comes to scrolling and all the gestures work as you'd expect. Good job on that front. Now, one of the best parts of this laptop is going to be the battery life. And as I mentioned earlier, this has a 59.6 watt hour battery, and it did over 14 hours on my continuous web surfing test over Wi-Fi at 150 nits. What does that mean in real world mixed usage? At a minimum, you're looking at 11 to 12 hour device. That is excellent, especially here in 2022. One of the best results we've seen here this year. So this is going to be great for not only the performance, but longevity, those road warriors who need that longevity that really great battery life on a long plane flight and stuff like that you won't be disappointed excellent battery life on this now as far as the chargers that were sent over i have the 60 watt power adapter that took a little under two hours to charge this laptop but the 90 watt power adapter supplied as well by dell that took about an hour and 25 minutes much faster so if you want to get that option it's a nice way to go especially for fast charging and when it comes to the audio 
more good news. This has quad speakers, two top firing speakers and two bottom firing speakers for the one of the best sounding two in one convertibles I've heard to date. Really powerful sound, filling up a room rather nicely. Good volume, good mids, good bass. Overall, great sound. Now, to give it a listen, let's check out Epidemic Sound. And remember, if you want to save 10% off Epidemic Sound, see the link in the description below. Now, let's give this a listen. Okay, let's bring it all home. What do I think about the Dell Latitude 9430 2-in-1 here in 2022? And I got to say, this is a huge improvement over last year in terms of not only performance, but also maintains that excellent battery life we saw last year and builds upon that. So you're really getting the best of both worlds, power, performance, and of course, longevity. And you're getting a really nice QHD Plus display, 2560 by 1600. It's excellent. It's very bright, over 500 nits. That is excellent. And I love the versatility of this two-in-one, giving you all the different modes, the tent mode, the stand or presentation mode, and of course, the tablet mode, in addition to the laptop mode. And I love the fact that you're getting that really great sound out of the quad speakers. Negatives, of course, I think the biggest one would be, of course, the price. But of course, this is geared towards enterprises, business users, that won't blink at the price they're going to buy these in bulk they're going to get a discount but always keep your eye on the link in the description below dell does run sales and this one is one you want to keep your eye on i like the really solid all metal build the really nice graphite color they've really hit a home run here ladies and gentlemen this has got to be one of the best two-in-one convertibles here in 2022. And if you're in that market, I highly recommend the dell latitude 9430 two-in-one convertible so what do you think about this bad boy, the 9430 2-in-1? Now, this graphite is absolutely gorgeous, very reminiscent of the graphite color on the 9320, the Dell XPS 13 uh, Plus that I reviewed earlier this year. I like the fact that the pen stores magnetically. It charges via USB-C, so it doesn't charge on the side here, but it sticks magnetically to the side. Excellent battery life, over 14 hours on my continuous web surfing test. That's 11 to 12 hours of, I would say, mixed usage, real world mixed usage. So of course your mileage may vary, so keep that in mind. But excellent as far as a two-in-one convertible here. 12th gen Core i7, 1265, 10 cores, eight efficiency cores, two performance cores. Excellent single core and multi-core performance, especially year over year over last year's 9420. This is a big upgrade in terms of performance. And of course, with the great battery life, this is a nice killer combination. Gorgeous 14 inch QHD plus display, 2560 by 1600. Very little glare or reflections, which I love to see. Very bright, over 500 nits. Uh, really, what more can you say? It's excellent for watching movies. It's great for taking notes with the pen. Of course, it has that touch layer and that pen worked out pretty well. Now it is $89.99. Uh, over at Dell's website. I'll leave a link in the description below as far as that pen, that active pen. And uh, I would say, if you are a note taker, if you like to sketch out diagrams or artwork or you're a digital artist, you may want to look at this. And again, especially somebody who takes a lot of notes, this is a nice accessory to go with. And again, it stores magnetically to the side. They're pretty secure as well. Now, one of the negatives, as I pointed out, of course, is the price. But keep in mind, and it's very important I point this out, of course, this is geared towards businesses, enterprise users, and the like. So they're going to pay the premium. And of course, they want the extra security that this gives them, the premium fee features that it offers, and they're going to pay the price. But of course, they're going to buy these in bulk. They're going to get discounts from Dell. So keep that in mind. And the other thing to keep in mind is Dell runs a lot of sales. So make sure you keep an eye on the link in the description below for the latest pricing, because even a consumer is going to want to look at this. It's that good. The gorgeous display, the rock solid build, the all metal premium design, and that gorgeous display along with everything else that this brings, especially that great battery life. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment 
in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.